good. I can tell you already, these things are bright AF. Gee. All right, guys, we're in the shop tonight with the wife's uh, 79 Bronco. And what we're gonna be doing is I got some LED headlights to swap out with the halogen ones that you see right here. So we're gonna get ready, go do a nice little uh, night drive with these, see how they look. And then we're gonna go ahead and throw in these new uh, LED ones that I got that can fit right in there. So let's go ahead and get out on the road and see what these things look like. Well, before that, actually, I'm gonna back up so you can see how the headlights look just directly off the uh, the wall here, or the door, all right? All right, guys, no other ambient light or anything like that, so here we go. There's the high beams, low beams. You can see, actually, they need to be aligned a little bit. The uh, passenger side there is just a little bit higher. All right. Looks like it's a little bit brighter, too, but yeah, there you go. All right, let's get on the road and see how this looks. Right, guys different day here obviously different sweater different get up uh when i was driving around doing the run with the uh stock headlights on it that night and everything like that i ended up throwing my power steering belt and this thing had actually worn pretty thin and looks like it's flipped over a couple times or something like that i don't know anyways we uh got that thing replaced and we're gonna end up swapping over the headlights now of these uh these new ones these are pretty gosh darn slick, man. I mean, and they just snap right into your three prong setup, you know, factory and everything like that. I mean, and these won't just work for the Ford here, but anything that runs these five by seven um, headlights, I mean, your Jeep, uh, your earlier Jeep Wranglers, your uh, Jeep Cherokees, a uh, bunch of your Chevys, a bunch of other things will run these headlights and everything like that. Big thing is when you're installing them, the large bulb here goes down. All right. I, uh, I tried to make this video once before and I put them in upside down thinking the large bulb goes up. Low beam. High beam. I think I'm gonna have these in upside down. Shouldn't that be up higher? <laughs> Anyways, we're gonna throw these in real quick. All right, now swapping these, uh, these out is pretty easy. Just a total of six bolts or screws. These two right here uh, are used just for retaining the, the bezel here. So then you just lift it out. It's got a little bit of a retaining lip right there. And then you just have four, two here at the top, two here at the bottom that keep the unit in place, your headlight in place. All right, and that happened to just fall on the ground. These things are small, so. Right up there. around the headlight. Go ahead and pull out our old halogen bulb. Take the new bulb. Plug it in. Up 
something there. Clip back on. And it's not easy. Got new uh, LED headlights in the truck here. I'm gonna go throw the other one in real quick and then we're gonna see how these look. All right, so there you go. Looks, uh, looks pretty good. Um, doesn't look abnormal or really bad or anything like that. I've seen those ones that got multiple little LEDs in it. I don't really like the presentation of those. Let me go turn on the headlights real quick. lights in the shop here and see what the image looks like on the door here see right there man i mean these are definitely a monster improvement let's go ahead and switch over to high beam oh that was on high beam my bad all right so there's low beam <laughs> and then high beam yeah i mean that's huge that's that's pretty solid right there all right i gotta start it up we're going to uh, leave the shop here and then just go out for a quick drive on the street Check the power steering, make sure that's working good. I mean, it feels like it's moving back and forth fine here. And then see how the headlights look, all right? A little bit under a quarter of a tank for the gauge. Hopefully we don't run out of fuel. <laughs> we should be fine. Famous last words. Guys, yeah, I'm super impressed with these headlights. Uh, these LED ones, I mean, they are, they really bumped up the quality of drivability in the Bronco at nighttime. Like, huge amounts. I mean, most of you know these old halogen bulbs, even these old halogen bulbs, even when you replace them, you got brand new ones in there. They're not the best thing out there. And these, they're not far off from the classic look, right? So. I would definitely take these over top of these halogens. Um, yeah. So I know that they offer them with blinkers built into the headlight as well. And I believe you can also get them with the halo. I opted for the most factory ones I could get because I just like the more classic look. But I mean, the halo ones look like they're gonna be fine and also the ones with blinkers. I'm curious how those would be. I'd probably like to test some of them out as well. We'll see what comes down the line, but 
overall, I'm super happy with these headlights. We definitely, definitely was a good buy. The Bronco here, I'm gonna be having a video come out real soon. We're, uh, if you've seen the TikTok, I've been buffing and polishing it. We're getting ready to sell it, all right? And I just picked up uh, a new product that uh, people are telling me to try to get like the patina, the, the shine off of that. We'll uh, release that video here shortly, all right? But let me know what's going on with you guys. Uh, what do you think about these headlights? Tell me in the comments, would you, uh, would you use these? Would you, what do you think about them? They're a decent product, I mean, I think they're only like 80 some odd bucks, 85-ish around there. That's not bad at all. So I'm definitely, yeah, worthy investment, guys. I'd encourage it. All right, as always, get out there, get working on your projects, do some stuff, even something simple as this, chasing out headlights, just do it. Get out there and do stuff, man. You guys have a good one. We'll see you on the next one.